Hi, Nick Ellis, PC Computer Guy here, and we're going to be talking about setting up a home digital entertainment center. Now, that's definitely a mouthful, but what is it? A home digital entertainment center is essentially a centralized storage of all of your content that you can access throughout the house. The thing that makes something like this great and plausible for today is these little inexpensive devices such as this Western Digital Box that we're looking at right here. What it is is essentially a computer inside of a little tiny box. You connect your network to it, you connect your TV to it, and you're good to go. When you do this, this allows you to, to send and receive information from your computer or from the internet itself. Right here we're looking at YouTube, um, which is just one of the many services that these boxes do. Other services such as Netflix and Hulu are also available through things like this. They're very nice, very convenient, and they usually cost less than a hundred bucks. Sometimes you can even find them on sale for 50 or 60 bucks. They come in both wired and wireless forms. I recommend using the wired if you can, but if you cannot, as long as you have decent wireless signal, you should be okay. The very convenient thing about this is I can stream my media anywhere that I have this box. So for example, in the living room, if I have guests over and I wanna show them cruise videos that we have. I can just go into this box using just a standard remote control and pull up my cruise videos and hit play. We don't have to go to the computer. We don't have to break out the laptop to look at the videos. We get to watch it on the big screen TV with the surround sound and everything. If you have music that you've downloaded through iTunes or other sources such as BitTorrent, you can also play that music on your surround sound system so you get that nice big theater sound that you might have all over the place. Very, very convenient, very easy to set up. That's one of the key things is that this is usually not too difficult to set up. Notice I say usually because there's always circumstances where you might have a firewall blocking something, but generally speaking, it's pretty straightforward to set up. The requirements are that you have a computer, which you probably have because you're watching this, a network setup, and by network setup, essentially just everything connected to a wireless network router or wired router. Um, so there's really no, no craziness that goes onto that. If you have multiple computers in the house that are um, sharing the internet, you have a network set up already. So you just need to tie this into that. You also need the content, obviously, so your music, your pictures, your videos, and so forth. And lastly, you need a box like this. Now, you may actually already have a box like this. If you have an Xbox or PlayStation 3, you already have a box that does this kind of stuff. All this is made available through a technology called UPnP, or DLNA. So if you see that whenever you're doing anything like this, that's what that technology uses. Setting it up on the computer is extremely simple. I'm going to show you how to do that. There's just going to be a couple steps to do and you'll be off and running. There's a couple little caveats that I throw in there where things that I've experienced, um, I will point out to you so that if you experience them yourselves, you won't be confused. Let's take a quick look at some of the things that this guy can do. If I go ahead and hit play. We're going to be talking about Picasa. Picasa is a great program for editing, managing. That guy should sound familiar to you. That's yours truly doing one of my tech tip videos on my YouTube channel. Here's different YouTube videos that you see here that uh, are also by me and other people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and go very back to the internet menu page and here you can see all of the different services that this box can do. This is internet services, so things like um, Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, etc. You can see all those different things all throughout here. Now obviously you need to have a Netflix account if you're going to use this box for Netflix. Um, I'm going to go back one more screen and look at the other services. This was internet media, things that exist out on the internet. But part of it, we talked about your own personal videos. If I go down one to the video section here, this is the first screen that comes up. If I go ahead and hit OK to that, it gives me an option to select a couple different things. We're just going to do this one right now because this is the only box that does this. Um, and then we have my computer that shows up. So when I hit media servers, it looked on my network and found the media server, which is my computer. I'm going to go ahead and OK to that. And what it's doing is it's connecting to my computer now and gives me a list of all the different things that we can do. I'm going to select folders because I like to keep my stuff very organized and I would highly recommend that you do the same. And once I do folders, I have all the things that I have allowed my computer to share on the network available to me. So for example, if I go to, um, I'm going to go to road trip over here and we will hit play. And here's videos from my road trip. So I'm streaming this from my computer to the TV that's set up right here. You can do this anywhere in the house. It's so incredibly convenient and easy to do that I find it one of the best things about technology. Hopefully you will too, and hopefully you won't have too much difficulty getting this set up. So let's get started.